So we will read for a few minutes from Chaitanya Charitamrita. And uh, because Prema Murti requested translation, Shiv Charan is here. So we're reading from Thank you. We're reading from Chaitanya Charitamrita. This is Anti Lila chapter three. The glories of Haridas Thakur. Then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to his personal devotees and began speaking about Haridas Thakur's transcendental qualities as if he had hundreds of mouths. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu derives great pleasure from glorifying his devotees, and among the devotees, Haridas Thakur is the foremost. The transcendental qualities of Haridas Thakur are innumerable and unfathomable. One may describe a portion of them, but to count them all is impossible. In the Chaitanya Mangal, Sri Vrindavan Das Thakur has described the attributes of Sri Lahari Das Thakur to some extent. No one can describe all the qualities of Haridas Thakur. But one may say something about them just to purify himself. So Lord Chaitanya, he loved Haridas so much. And when he began to describe Haridasa's transcendental qualities, it was like Lord Chaitanya had hundreds of mouths. In Kaviraj Goswami, he states that Lord Chaitanya would get so much transcendental pleasure by glorifying his devotees. And he says Haridas is the foremost. And similarly, when we glorify Vaishnavas, we will always experience transcendental pleasure. We will always taste nectar when we speak about the unlimited uh, fine qualities of each and every devotee. No one can describe all the qualities of Haridas Thakur. But one may say something about them only to purify oneself. O devotees of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, please hear something about the qualities of Haridas Thakur that Srila Vrindavan Das Thakur has not described in detail. After leaving his home, Haridas Thakur stayed for some time in the forest of Binapula. Haridas Thakur constructed a cottage 
in a solitary forest. There he planted a Tulsi plant. And in front of Tulsi, he would chant the holy name of the Lord 300,000 times a day. He chanted throughout the day and he chanted throughout the night. And Srila Prabhupada gives a commentary. The village of Benapala is situated in the district of Jashohara. Which is now in Bangladesh. Uh, Haridas Thakur, being the Acharya of chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, is called Namacharya Haridas Thakur. From his personal example, we can understand that chanting Hare Krishna Mantra and becoming highly elevated in Krishna consciousness is very simple. Without difficulty, one can sit down anywhere. Especially on the bank of the Ganga, Jamuna, or any sacred river. Devise a sitting place or a cottage and plant a Tulsi and before Tulsi chant the Hare Krishna mantra undisturbed. So Prabhupada says this is not very difficult. Any of us can go to a sacred river and whether the Ganga or the Jumuna, any sacred river, and devise a sitting place or a cottage, plant a Tulsi, and chant Hare Krishna day and night in an undisturbed state. Hare Krishna. Hari Dastakur used to chant the holy name on his beads 300,000 times daily. Throughout the entire day and night, he would chant the 16 names of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. We should not, however, imitate Hari Das Thakur, for no one else can chant Hare Krishna Mantra 300,000 times daily. Such chanting is for the Mukta Purush or the liberated soul. We can follow his example, however, by chanting 16 rounds of the Hare Krishna mantra on beads every day and offering our respect to the Tulsi plant. This is not difficult for anyone. And the process of chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra with a vow before the Tulsi plant has such great spiritual potency that simply by doing this one can become spiritually strong. Therefore, we request the members of the Hare Krishna movement to follow Hari Das Thakur's example rigidly. Chanting 16 rounds does not take much time, 
nor is offering respects to Tulsi, David, Tulsi plant difficult. Повторение 16 кругов на четках не требует много времени, и поклонение Туласи тоже не требует больших усилий. But this process has immense spiritual potency. Эти действия заключают в себе огромную духовную силу. One should not miss this opportunity. И человек не должен лишать себя этой возможности. For his bodily maintenance, he would go to a Brahmin's house and beg some food. Для поддержания тела он ходил в дома браманов и просил подаяние, пищу как подаяние. He was spiritually so influential that all the neighboring people worshipped him. И видя его духовное могущество, люди все по соседству поклонялись ему. A landowner named Ramachandra Khan was the zamindar of that district. He was envious of Vaishnavs, and therefore, he was a great atheist. Unable to tolerate the respect, such respect as being offered to Haridas Thakur, Ramachandra Khan planted, planned in various ways to dishonor him. Не в силах терпеть то почтение, которое оказывали Харидасу Такуру, Рамачандра, Рамачандра Хан стал строить планы, как опозорить его. By no means could he find any fault in the character of Haridas Thakur. Therefore, he called for local prostitutes and began a plan to discredit his holiness. Ему никак не удавалось выявить хоть какой-нибудь изъян Харидаса Такуре. В конце концов, он позвал к себе местных блудниц и стал придумывать, как опорочить имя святого. Ramachandra Khan said to the prostitutes, There is a mendicant named Haridas Thakur. All of you devise a way to deviate him from his vows of austerity. Ramachandra Khan сказал блудницам, Здесь есть один аскет по имени Харидас Thakur. Подумайте, как заставить его нарушить обед отречения от мира. Among the prostitutes, one attractive young girl was selected. I shall attract the mind of Haridas Thakur, she promised, within three days. Выбор пал на одну красивую и молодую блудницу. За три дня я пленю сердце Харидаса Thakura, пообещала она. And Ramachandra Khan said, Ramachandra Khan сказал, My constable will go with you so that as soon as he sees you with Haridas Thakur, immediately he will arrest him and bring both of you to me. Text number 109. At night, the girl, after dressing herself most attractively, went to the cottage of Haridas Thakur with great jubilation. С наступлением ночи, надев самые красивые наряды, блудница с большой радостью направилась к хижине Харидаса Такура. After offering obeisance to the Tulsi plant, she went to the door of Haridas Takur, offered him obeisances, and stood there. Поклонившись деревцу Туласи, она подошла к двери Харидаса Такура и, выразив ему почтение, осталась стоять на том же месте. She sat down on the threshold of the door and spoke to him with sweet words. Она уселась на пороге хижины и заговорила с ним сладким голосом. My dear Takur, O oh great preacher, great devotee, you are so beautifully built. Мой дорогой Такур, о великий проповедник и преданный, ты так красиво сложен. And your youth is just beginning. Твоя юность только началась. Who could control their mind after seeing you? Какая женщина способна устоять перед тобой? I am eager to be with you. Я хочу соединиться с тобой. My mind is greedy for this. Мое сердце возжелало тебя. If I don't obtain you, I shall not be able to keep my body and soul together. Если ты не станешь моим, то я больше не смогу поддерживать свою жизнь в теле. And Haridas Thakur replied. Haridas Thakur ответил. I shall accept you without fail. Я обязательно приму тебя. But you will have to wait till I finish chanting my regular rounds on my beats. 
Но тебе придется подождать, пока я закончу повторять обещанное мной число святых имен на четко. Until that time, please sit here and listen to the chanting of the holy names. А ты пока сиди и слушай, как я повторяю святое имя. And as soon as I am finished, I will fulfill your desires. Как только я закончу, я тут же исполню твое желание. After hearing this, the girl remained sitting while Haridas chanted on his beads until the morning light came. Услышав это, блудница осталась сидеть и слушала, как Харидас Такур повторяет святое имя до наступления утра. When she saw it was morning, she stood up and left. Когда она увидела, что наступило утро, она встала и ушла. Coming before Ramachandra Khan, she informed him of the news. Придя к Ramachandra Khan, она рассказала обо всем, что произошло. And she told the Khan. Она сказала Khan. Haridas promised to enjoy with me. Haridas пообещал насладиться со мной. So tomorrow it will certainly happen. И поэтому не сомневайся, что завтра так и будет. The next evening she came and Haridas Thakur gave her many assurances. Last night you were disappointed. Please excuse my offense. I shall certainly accept you. Please sit down, hear the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, until my regular chanting is finished. And then your desire will be fulfilled. She offered her obeisances to the Tulsi plant. And she offered her obeisances to Haridas Thakur. And then she sat at the door. And she heard Haridas Thakur chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. And she also chanted, O oh my Lord Hari, O oh my Lord Hari. So Srila Prabhupada states in his purport. Herein one can clearly see how a Vaishnava delivers a fallen soul by a transcendental trick. Этот стих описывает то, как Вайшнав спасает падшую душу, прибегнув к трансцендентной хитрости. She came to pollute Haridas, but Haridas took it as his duty to deliver her. Она пришла, чтобы совратить Харидаса Такура, но он счел своим долгом спасти ее. And as demonstrated here, the process of deliverance is very simple. И как здесь ясно показано, обрести спасение очень просто. With faith and with reverence, she associated with Haridas Thakur, who personally treated her material disease by chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Although she had an ulterior motive, somehow or other she got the association of a Vaishnav and satisfied him occasionally chanting and imitation. Хотя у нее были совсем иные мотивы, так или иначе она получила возможность общаться с Вашнавом и радовала его тем, что иногда подражая ему восклицала. О мой Lord Hari, о мой Lord Hari. О мой Господь Хари, о мой Господь Хари. The conclusion is that associating with the Vaishnav, chanting the holy name of the Lord and offering obeisances to the Tulsi plant or a Vaishnav all lead one to become a transcendental devotee who is fully cleansed of material contamination. Oh my dear devotees, beg, borrow, or steal the nectar of the holy name. Wherever you can go to be with Vaishnavs and chant, please do so.
When you can chant with Tulsi, please do so. But wonderful to chant Hare Krishna with other Vaishnavas. It is such a powerful process, it will purify our hearts. When the night came to an end, the girl was restless. Seeing this, Harida spoke as follows. I have vowed to chant 10 million names in a month. I have taken this vow, but now it is nearing its end. I thought that today I would be able to finish my performance of Jagya, my chanting of Hare Krishna mantra. I tried my best to chant the holy name all night, but I did not finish. Tomorrow I will surely finish. My vow will be fulfilled. Then it will be possible for me to enjoy with you to your full freedom. The girl returned to Ramachandra Khan and informed him of everything that had happened. The next day she came earlier. At the beginning of the evening. And she stayed with Haridas Thakur. After offering obeisances to the Tulsi plant and Haridas Thakur. She sat at the threshold of the door. She began to hear Haridas Thakur's chanting. And she also chanted Hari Hari, the holy names of the Lord. Today, it will be possible for me to finish my chanting. Hari Das Thakur informed her. Then I shall satisfy your desires. The night ended while Hari Das Thakur was chanting. But his association changed the mind of the young lady. Now purified, she fell at the feet of Haridas Thakur. And confessed that Ramachandra Khan had appointed her to this deed. Because of my profession, I have performed a greatly simple act. My Lord, be merciful to me. Deliver my fallen soul. Haridas Thakur replied, I know everything about the conspiracy of Ramachandra Khan. He is nothing but an ignorant fool. Therefore, his activities do not make me unhappy. On the very day that Ramachandra Khan was planning this intrigue against me, I would have left this place immediately. But because you came to me, I stayed here three days to purify you. And to deliver you. Then she said, Kindly act as my spiritual master. Instruct me in my duty by which to get relief from material existence. 
Скажи, что мне нужно делать, чтобы избавиться от материального существования? It's so nice. She had such clear thought after Harida spoke to her. Удивительно, после того, как Харидас поговорил с ней, у нее проявилась такая ясная, здравая мысль. She said, kindly, please, act as my spiritual master. Она сказала, пожалуйста, стань моим духовным учителем. And instruct me how to get relief from material existence. И наставляй меня о том, как избавиться от материального существования. And this is our real duty in approaching our spiritual masters. Таков наш долг, когда мы обращаемся к духовному учителю. To inquire how to become free from the troubles of material life. Попрошать о том, как избавиться от проблем материальной жизни. Харидас Такур replied. Харидас Такур ответил. Immediately go home and distribute to the Brahmins whatever you have. Ступай домой и раздай браманам все свое добро. Then come back to this room and stay here forever in Krishna consciousness. Затем возвращайся сюда и живи в этой хижине, всегда помни о Кришне. Chant the Hare Krishna mantra continuously and render service to the Tulsi plant by watering her and offering prayers to her. Постоянно повторяй мантру Харе Кришна и служи Туласи, поливая ее и вознося ей молитвы. In this way, you will very soon get the opportunity to be sheltered at the lotus feet of Krishna. Так ты очень скоро обретешь прибежище у лотосных стоп Кришна. Кришна. Thus, after instructing the girl about the process of chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Hare Das Thakur stood up and he left, continuously chanting Hari Hari. Дав девушке наставление повторения Маха Мантры Харе Кришна. Харидас Такур встал и ушел, непрестанно повторяя «Хари, Хари». And the young girl distributed to the brahmanas whatever household possessions she had, and she followed the order of her spiritual master. После этого юная девушка, следуя указанию духовного учителя, раздала все нажитое добро браман. She shaved her head clean in accordance to Vaishnava principles, and she stayed in that room wearing only one cloth. Following in the footsteps of her spiritual master, she began chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra 300,000 times a day. She chanted throughout the entire day and the entire night. Она стала повторять Святое Имя 300 тысяч раз в день. Святое Имя не покидало ее уст ни днем, ни ночью. She worshipped the Tulsi plant, following in the footsteps of her spiritual master. Идя по стопам Духовного Учителя, она поклонялась деревцу Туласи. Instead of eating regularly, she chewed whatever food she received as alms, and if nothing was supplied, she would fast. Она питалась только тем, что ей время от времени приносили, а если ей ничего не приносили, она постилась. Thus, by eating frugally and fasting, she conquered her senses. Скудным питанием и постами она смирила свои чувства. And as soon as her senses were controlled, symptoms of love of God appeared in her person. И как только это случилось, у нее стали проявляться признаки любви к Богу. She became a celebrated devotee. Так она стала прославленной преданной. She became very advanced in spiritual life. Она вела столь святую жизнь. And many stalwart Vaishnavas would come to see her. Что многие стойкие Вайшнавы приходили взглянуть на нее. Seeing the sublime character of this girl, everyone was astonished. Видя возвышенные качества этой девушки, все были поражены. Everyone glorified the influence of Hari Das Thakur and offered him obeisances. Так люди стали прославлять могущество Хари Даса Такура и выражать ему почтение. And Prabhupada's commentary says, It is said, Phalena Parichiyate. One is recognized by the results of his actions. In Vaishnav society, there are many types of Vaishnavs. Some of them are called Goswamis. 
Some are called Swamis and some are called Prabhus. <coughs> and some are Prabhupada. One is not recognized, however, simply by such name. The spiritual master is recognized as an actual guru when it is seen that he has changed the character of his disciple. Духовного учителя признают истинным гуру тогда, когда люди видят, что он способен изменить сердце своих учеников. Haridas Thakur actually changed the character of this girl. Haridas Thakur, к примеру, изменил сердце этой девушки. People greatly appreciated this and therefore all offered obeisances to Haridas Thakur and glorified him. Люди оценили этот поступок и потому стали выражать почтение Харидасу Такуру и прославлять его. By inducing this prostitute to disturb Haridas Thakur, Ramachandra Khan caused a seed of offense at his lotus feet to germinate. This seed later became a tree, and when it fructified, Ramachandra Khan ate its fruit. This offense at the lotus feet of an exalted devotee has resulted in a wonderful narration. Это оскорбление лотосных стоп воздушного овощного послужило началом удивительной истории. Пользуясь возможностью, расскажу вам, что впоследствии произошло. Taking advantage of the opportunity offered by these incidents, I shall explain what happened. O oh, devotees, please listen. Пожалуйста, пожалуйста, послушайте меня, Бухтедни. Ramachandra Khan was naturally a non-devotee. В течение долгого времени Ramachandra Khan был now having offended the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur, he became just like a demonic atheist. Because of blaspheming the cult of Vaishnavism and insulting the devotees for a long time, he now received the results of his offensive behavior. So we will, we will have to pick up reading on what happened to Ramachandra Khan tomorrow. As you can see, the evening has really come upon us and it's becoming quite chilly over here in Vrindavan. Please look now, you can see the Tulsi house on this side, which is illuminated by the wonderful Tulsi lamps that have been brought to us by Shamsaki from St. Petersburg. Those Tulsi lamps, they kept Tulsi living through this past six weeks of constant cloud cover in Vrindavan. Everybody, please take these instructions to heart. Run to the association of the Vaishnavas and chant Hare Krishna. And never uh, speak ill about the Vaishnavas. Because if you plant a seed of offense, that seed will grow into a tree. And when you eat the fruit of that tree, it will be very, very bad.
Okay, thank you all very, very much for participating this evening. Спасибо всем большое, что присоединились сегодня вечером. And to everyone, good evening from Shri Vrindavan Dham. Всем вам доброго вечера из Shri Vrindavan Dham. Jai Jai Shri Radhe Shyam. Hare Krishna.